Okay, campers, time for a bit of an update on the battery. Uh, as anyone who's been following the videos will know, this is the main traction battery. Um, originally 48S 4P for 152 volts nominally. So, uh, last while I've been studying uh, the headway cells and um, decided to fit uh, some additional cells in the form of this 4S 4P pack here. I uh, don't know how it's going to come out on camera. Um, this is uh, the basis of the pack. Um, it was quite tight on space so I employed the normal headway um, plastic cell holders. Uh, but I made my own bus bars out of uh, thick copper and I had to kind of construct a uh, polycarbonate and aluminium tray in this corner of the space here to actually fit the pack in and uh, cabled in with um, some 70 square cable into the pack and brought some monitoring tails um, out here uh, back to the monitoring terminal block here so we're now running uh, the packet nominally in about 166 volts and um, for 52S4P um, I haven't done a bottom balance on the battery um, after adding these cells which is something that I have to do but I've been waiting uh, for about a week now for my Power Lab 6 to turn up, so uh, that's due into me next week. Um, so when that arrives, uh, I'm going to ultimately um, balance out each cell block to 2.75 volts or so. I might even take them on a round trip each block and see exactly um, how much capacity that each cell block has. And uh, so that's it as far as the battery upgrade. Um, I should have done a bit of video when I was actually doing it, but I guess I just didn't, uh, I just really didn't have the time. I was struggling to get this installed and get the pack charge back up in a day so it's kind of tight on time so unfortunately didn't get to do any of that so um, okay what I'm going to do uh, I think is I'll uh, I might do a little cell voltage check and um, come back with that alrighty I'm hoping this comes out um, what I'm going to do first of all is I'm going to measure the pack voltage. And it's about a, it's about 32, 32 amp hours out of the pack now after it drives, so about 168 volts. So it goes at a half pack point. 84.2 on the lower side. 83.7 on the the higher side, so we've got a half a volt difference. So here we go, paint dry time. One, two, three, four. Let's see how that's coming out. I think it's okay. Right, I'm just going to keep going here, folks. Last uh, September, I believe, that I did the bottom balance on these cells. So, uh, so far, so good. And the uh, charger has a CV point now set at uh, 178 volts, which is a little over, um, 
with 3.47 volts per cell average. Uh, what I've seen of these headways above three and a half, there's not really that much there. At least according to what I've been doing with the JLD 404 anyway. Got a few spare cells at home, so I'm going to be doing a few uh, graphs when I get the power lab in and see how that turns out. <sighs> Pink dry. be said that I don't make the most exciting videos. You know. Riveting stuff. Now I need to change over to the top hat pack now. Which I never bothered to wire up because do my bottom balance I need to remove it so I'll only be adding to the amount of workload really to wire up the monitoring tails. I think I'm rather annoyed that I put a 2 amp fuse on the end of each tail because uh, it kind of means that I can't use them for much by way of balancing if it needs to be done. I think if I was doing it again I might put a 10 or a 12 amp fuse on each. Uh, what's that one doing? There we go on each uh, tail to be a little bit easier. Now the last four. These are new guys. Oh no, that's not the new guy. No. That's a new guy. New guy. New guy. And tail and Charlie. That's it. So uh, I hope that came out and uh, we'll be coming back for some more battery fun when I'm doing the bottom bounce. See you later.